Caribbean insight, ready is dynamite. Caribbean insight, really super for spite. Caribbean insight, enjoy day or night. Caribbean insight, really is dynamite. Hello and welcome to another edition of Caribbean Insight, the show where we keep you, the audience, abreast of the music that's coming out of the Caribbean. Today we're going to be featuring two young, energetic and upcoming artists from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago who have started their musical careers as dancehall singers. But during the past few years, they have joined the Soka Arena. On my right is KMC, the Prince of Soka. Real name, Ken Marlon Charles. And on my left is the Soka bad boy, Bungie Gallant. Brothers, I want to welcome you to the show. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no. Irene. Now, you guys are up from TNT. Yeah. Okay. And you're the one from Rio Claro. Yeah, I'm South from Rio I want to big up to the, my viewers from Rio yeah, Claro. Rio, Rio Crew. The brother representing. And we have a brother here from the East, Kumuto. Yeah. Big up to the people from Kumuto. And Arima too. And Arima too. Yeah, I yeah. must say that. Now, let me, let me get it from you. I know you started like 11 years ago, a long time yeah. ago. And you started out as a dance solo. Yeah. Right? Why you started out in the dance solo arena before the soca? I never expect this music business to be my future because I'm a job. Right. You know, but um, what go on is that knowing what the radio station played in the year in Trinidad, which was more like dance or reggae music, you know, well, started to catch the vibes and you know, I find myself start writing sure. Sure. dance all songs and things and I start getting the vibes of the dance all music and just like to anyway have a party, you know, it's just running and they just do a thing. You know, it's all about the lyrics and they just look into your little crowd response from the people them on the outside. Right. You know, but when the carnival sees you come around, you find now is a soca vibe and soca start to take over the radio station. So you know you're catching the, the soca vibe too. So you know I've always been writing my little soca and thing. I started to take it seriously when I started recording dance all. You know? Same thing with the soca. When the soca time come around, I start recording soca too. And it all happened. Well, I take a little while because I did some like 14 dance all records before anything happened. I did about two soca records before. And nothing never really happened until 1998. When I leave from Jamaica and I came back to Trinidad and Jamaica to record the soca. I suppose I go back to Jamaica to finish an album which I was doing with Drew Games and Family. Right. You know? But um, the soca thing now, which is the Bashment the Carnival on my soca Bashment album, which is my first album, take off so big then. And I started to get calls from all around the globe. You know? That I decided, well, it's just soca now then. You know, it's a tune already, and the people them out in the world, the know me as a, a soca star then. So let me represent nice and let the things flow then. You know what I mean? Good. So uh, are, we, are you going to stay on the soca scene now? Yeah, man. Well, me, I'm a soca star now. <laughs> so I'm married to soca. On that note, as we continue out here, we're coming to you live from Northern Avenue on the corner of Bergen Street to be specific, outside United Records. Again, as I say, the place you can go by and pick up all the soca music. All the soca music. It's breezy and it's windy out here and it's nice and listening to the music of these new up and coming artists of the Republican TNT. So let's sit back, relax, and tune in to something from KMC. Let me see your left hand. Left hand. Your left hand. Let me see your right hand. Right hand. Your right hand. Let me see your left. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. I wake up and turn on my radio this morning And all I hear sweet fan music playing I sit in front of my TV and I day watching I see man with a round in the cup and down there yeah. Let me see flag in the air Rag in the air People jumping, jumping, jumping Turn up them here Let me see this black green jam Burning in all sun What I want, I want Let's get up Let's get up Let's get up Let's see my lady You're right. 
Caribbean inside. You see the remote? Don't touch that remote. You know why? Because we're not taking that. Bungie. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about you. I know you, you, um, you, uh, what do you say? When we started here, like in 1994. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me hear a little bit about you. What? What's that? And again, was in that song? Well, my influence is a little more different than Ken because from I come from my father is Saint Lucia, my mother is Spaniard. So the influence of music within the house was always foreign. And then my mom is a Christian. So we always grew against carnival and it because carnival are plenty wine and thing and to her that is blackness, so she do what she little bit black boy being that now. Right. So you know, I grew I just grew with that mentality that alright, when carnival come, go up on the mountainside and relax. When carnival done and everybody tired and burn out, you come down with real energy now, you save your energy there. Right, so I grew with that mentality and between the vibes through me and my father being a son and all this listening plenty to the cliff and boot spain, you know, plenty of reggae. Yeah, yeah. So, so and then through mommy and daddy talking, accent was nothing to pick up because it's like again foreign accents. Right. So I just fall in the gap easily and I pick up and pick up with the flow. And my first dance all singing career started when I was in school when it used to be like this song clashing and thing. I really was not the type that I wanted to record as such. I was the type that I I didn't know him before, uh, and I was like, I, he have 11 records out. Uh, I would have been waiting on the corner by the studio for when he come out to try to get him in a song clash at face. So that was, uh, that was my, you know, future. And then the producer this said, well, this fella good, we could do some work with him. And they take a good while, about a year and something, to convince me to get into recording. Because I was real frightened and afraid that somebody used me and this kind of way, you know? Yeah, but we know how the business yeah, is. So, we know how that goes. So I do all one or two dance all recorded, radio played in Trinidad and get nice little support and everybody never leave Trinidad and hit the mainstream market outside. So then it took about two more years now. There was they were telling me I'm trying to convince what the boy try a soca, try a soca, try a soca. And I always say no, I can't try a thing because I never grew up liking that. So that hard for me to gain that. And then the producer one day, Bella Rhythm, which was originally for someone else, just bought a tune too. And some misunderstanding came about and he decided, well, the beat, the rhythm cow is. So who's the best person for this now? The quickest mind, ding, ding, ding. Ah, Bunchy Gallon. So I heard you really say you could build a song for that. I say, well, I could do a song for anything, you know, but I don't like it. He said, right, just do this one for me. If nothing can come out of it, I'll leave you. So I tried this song and boom, song take off, now over here, mashing up the place here, there, yeah, everywhere, you know. Okay, good. But on that note, before we go too far, Bunchy has something bad coming up. So I want you to sit back, relax, look, and enjoy. Where you from? Where you from? Tell me where you from. Tell me where. If you come from Mova, come from Sawa. Run in the air. Run in 
Bomba Rataria. Bring it here, bring it here. Where from? Where from? Where from? Bomba Lo Seco. Some from Point Fortin. Bring it here. But who from Arima? Who would like to be now? Watch me. That's not taking it out already, yet. This is my friend called Nicholas, the rhythm rider. Just now, yeah, because you look at first. If you want to see me ride, listen to how it go. You up now. If you see a girl stand up in the corner looking nice, don't think twice, no. That might be the ride of your life that you will sacrifice. So don't act nice. Where so what? Take out your rag, let me see you. Put up your rag, let me see you. Up in the air, let me see you. Drip it up high, let me see you. Set up yourself, let me see you. Get on your marks. Ready, set, one, two, three. Kill that for them, ride that for them, hold that for them, ride that for them, flop that for them, kill that for them, hold that for them, ride that for them, hold that for them, hold that for them, hold that for them, hold that for them. We come out those times that hurt them, y'all. All right, that hurt them, man. So that hurt them crazy, don't think we crazy. Right, that hurt them, man, man, man. So that hurt them crazy. Give me a look. Understand the concept of the song. Alison Hyde say she wanted a man to write she read him. So I hear the call and I answer. So my little friend here, uh -huh. that I call the rhythm rider, we have no girls to qualify because they're afraid to test him. So here what happened now. He will demonstrate by himself something called the trimble ride. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So watch me. Set up yourself. I want to go move yourself. back there. there Just move back. Set up Just yourself. Back. Set move up back. Just move back. Set up yourself. Just move back. Set up yourself. Right? Move back. Set up yourself. Move back. Set up yourself. Now hear what's going on. Set up yourself. We coming forward, right? Set up yourself. We coming forward. Set up yourself. And Trimble show. Set up yourself. Set up yourself. Let me see you. Sure. Get ready, Mark. Let me see sure. you. Go with down low, let me see sure. you. Come get on ready, let me see sure. you. Come to get you, let me see sure. you. Don't want to go. Kill that with him, ride that with him, hold that with him, hold that with him, don't that with him, ride that with him, hold that with him, don't that with him, ride that with him, hold that with him, hold that with him, ride that with him. We come out of sand and hurt him, y'all, and ride that hurt him, bad, bad, bad. Send that hurt him, crazy, don't think we chase him, ride that hurt him, bad, bad, bad. Send that hurt him, crazy. From top, yo, fellas, we must come out to ride the gal instrumental. Oy. Jump up and ride that rhythm. Jump up and ride that rhythm. What the man come and ride that rhythm? Why the instrumental? Oy. Jump up and ride that rhythm. Jump up and ride that. Well, from the record on to the table. Don't you let see your leader. Any rhythm play your hip. Just have to land my can cable. Mix it from Shimeli Nibo. And they come with him this table. And when he call, we ride in rhythm, man, man. Hi, I'm Nicole Graves, and I am from the band Surface. And anytime I'm in New York City, I tune in to Caribbean Insight. Who is this short guy on this video? Hallelujah. This is the guy that mashed up the place. Tell everybody going crazy. Who's that guy? That's my brother. That's my little brother. That's well, not little, but well, little in size, but it's my brother. But I think we should pick up in there and give him Yeah, Nicholas, Nicholas. Nicholas? Yeah. Well, let me tell you, everybody was fascinated. Mm -hmm. Is this the I'm first time you're working with him? Yeah, yeah, on any stage, yeah, yeah. But then I, I guess after this, now we're going to be seeing them because yeah, people because, love him, you know? Yeah, well, black holders call him fire because anyway you go, there's cause real heat in the place, you know, this kind of way. And I told you, man, uh, the first time I see yeah. someone, I was just thrown, but I like how he's doing it. Yeah. He took over, like, I shouldn't say you were shadowy, but he was on the stage. Yeah. No. He, he stuck with me right through ever since I started singing and he decided that, all right, boy, bunch, boy, you can never climb on stage with your thing, boy. I say, well, who you want to go on the stage with me and do? I don't want to carry on stage and make you look bad, but I said, nah, I'm not taking we going on guy and it on another. We going on stage, I going on stage too. If you had to get boo, I had to get boo. You had to get crazy, I had to get crazy. I said, all right, okay. You know what, I always, we managed to go on stage together. 20. Yeah. Wow. What else is happening to you guys out here? Yeah, well, right now, New York is like the capital of the soca right now. Because, I agree, I agree with that. Yeah. Because, 
anyway, I'm going to right now because he is so calm, boy. See when they land in New York? I may hear so the most during the year. I see that yeah, in the sense. Yeah, most of the shows we do is in New York. But New York is the real base. The Mecca. The thing, yeah. <laughs> no. I'm not from TFT, we can't even TFT. No, nah, well, yeah, but now. But that's a journalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, remember, like the thing has to start from Trinidad. Right. Because it's Trinidad music. Right. And then reach out to the rest of the world. Right. right. I watch the man. I'll be amazed when I come to New York and I see all different type of people just jump into the soca music then. That make, yeah, that make me feel good, don't die, no way, look. Young boy, this will watch, boy. They like soca music, and we flying all about now. So we end up going down the road in Jamaica, and then building up tuna dance, and then we're going to start the next year too. Jamaica, yeah. while all was on. Yeah, we yeah. went to Jamaica carnival. Mm. We're going down in the car, boy, soca music, really, are we flying all about it, boy? Anyway, one time, two, immediately. Yeah, one time. So you can look up for that tune on the next yes, yeah. album. Uh, now I haven't been there, but I know it's fairly new, Carnival in Jamaica. From your point of view, how is it going in Jamaica? Beautiful, Carnival. beautiful. I have all shop. Yeah. Because, you know, to go down in Jamaica and see all the rams and flags in the air. Street up, street up, street up. The dance rams. You know, Bounty Killer Lime with the dance. Yeah. Right. You know, all the, all the Jamaican acts passing through and see what the You know, Lime with the artists. Right. We kept the collecting our bikes. Give the music a certain respect because it's music we're dealing with. Right. And, and music is the fault of the song and people then. Right, right. You understand? Know, music is the people. So whatever the people they want, we have to give it to them. It could be reggae, dance, or hip hop, folk, or Latin. It's music and the people. Right. And we have to represent our music. Right. Everywhere. 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 Good. On that note, let's go straight to the videotape while we continue yeah. with the music of KMC. <laughs> We're going to split it in half now. Yeah. Half. Yeah. This half. Two. The half. Two. I'm going to take this side. If you come to get on bad, put your hand in the air. If you come here to get on bad, raise a rag in the air. Yeah, have a squad. You want to go first? Go first. Let me go first. What so we, we have to do? We have to have no comeback. They must have no comeback. So you what I want all of you to do? Take out your rag. Take out your flag. Raise up your hand. Raise up your jam. When I come to four, jump up and make some noise. Jump up and scream. Jump up and mash up the place. Here we go. One. We gonna mash them up. Two. We gonna mash them up. One. Two. One. Start the jump. Go. 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 My side, no. side now. No. Are you ready for that side? Are you ready for that side? All right, let me see if you're ready now. Let me see if you're ready now. If you have your rag in your left hand, hold it up. Rag in your left hand, hold it up. Rag in your right hand, hold it up. Rag in your right hand, hold it up. If you're rag in your left hand, hold it up. Rag in your right hand, hold it up. On your back, are you ready? On your back, yeah. Where do you rock them rolling with me? Where do you rock them rolling with me? Where do you rock them rolling with me? Let me finish this story now. You don't know, Father. You know what I'm saying? I'm chipping down Frederick Street, following a big truck. I'm married Babu G, I alone whining on she bought. Fucks a bungee girl in and the old crew from a parima. Now that we meet up, you know the old men go catch up on fire. But the police say it's 12 o'clock. And it's time for all the feathers to stop. We are leaving now. Same time I'm at Tatum and Speed. I'm Andy Armstrong from the band Square One out of Barbados. And whenever I'm in the US of A, I'm tuned into Caribbean Inside. Yes, we love it. I get it. You guys can see for yourself. These brothers bring in energy, bring in that energy to you. Make sure you work out and make sure you're fit because you don't can't be part of this celebration. You don't can't be part of this young music that's coming out here at TNT. Your song that you sang, it was an answer to um, 
Alison Hines. I think it was Alison Hines yeah. from Barbados. How, how have you come about with that? What happened? Well, I was just sitting down by the radio and I was listening to all the news vocals that was coming out. Well, that, that sound had um, grown on the people already. I want that man come and ride my rhythm or whatever. Ride my rhythm? Yeah. So I say, wait now, you know. It sounds like she practically begging somebody, you know. I say, but nobody never think about making a counteraction, you know. So I sit down now and I sat at home. At around that same time, I had the tape with the rhythm that the producer made for me to do the soca. So I sat at home, my melody, and I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to see now. When I get the melody, I sat up for words in place and I say, all right, now you won't go. Now. But the song wasn't, I wasn't going to make the song about Alice. I was going to make this song actually about I was walking on the street and I see a young girl and blah blah blah. And the young girl had me going mad, mad, mad. She had me going crazy. What? But then I said that would be too common. I said, all right. Best thing, counteraction. Put my words together and I said, all right. You want a man to ride with them? Here I come. She get me together. <laughs> you know? What was her response? Did she respond? Did, did you guys, she, did she talk about it? You guys talk about it? Right now, that's my best friend. Your best yeah, that was, that was good. So she liked she, it. She heard the song and she just went crazy. Crazy, send the meet with Bungie Girl and I want to meet him. Ding, ding, ding. Line it up, I end up meeting her and then we sit down and talk and she said, Boy, I really like that song. We really put that song together. And I feel real good when she tells me that. I thought, I, I was thinking that she would have, you know, dig out her ass and she might, yeah, she might have, she might have feel her way and you know. But, it was totally opposite and I feel real good knowing that despite that there's a small counteraction, some other artists would have taken it to heart. And you get, yeah, you get posted, yeah. yeah, and get offended. She, she, she see that as a new way, as, as an extending the market now, you know. Well, making, I, I like how you guys talking about that because that kind of uh, re-emphasize what I'm uh, talking about, the young artists coming together, working together with a yeah. love. Working together with a yeah. love. And, uh, and like well, that. because of that song now, um, for Crop Over coming, we have a song together, me and Alison Hines, release on Crop Over, yeah, Crop over. yeah, release then. Alright, so you're so here, we'll Sabino, here soon. and I'm coming to look out for Alison Hines and Bungie Gala. Yeah. Bungie has something bad coming up, so I want you to sit back, relax, look, and enjoy. Give me the brass, blow me the brass, just give me the brass, we know me car ass, give me the, hey yo, When the brass is out of blow, and people get in the flow, people from out of Toronto want to come back. Long! Long! Give me some more mic, please. Boy. Some more mic that's going to set my voice with ease. Huh. Listen! Bass. Yeah. People. When the brass and start to blow, and people get in the flow, people from out Toronto want to come back in Baco. Yeah. They get in the vibe for so, want to yeah. sleep in like a crow. They yeah. want the brass and to start to blow. Ooh, 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 ooh. When the brass and start to play, yeah. and the children run away, yeah. and the girls break away. When the brass and start to play, yeah. you want all the children say, yeah. so come on and run away. Put up your rock and your plug in the air. Start to talk around and give me some brass. Just give me some brass. Just give me some brass. Just give me some brass. Listen. Well, you can have a channel of the music that's going to be taking us into the new millennium. Get ready for it. As you guys know, we only have half an hour to keep this energy going. It's it really is nothing, but it's just giving you a little taste and keeping you abreast of the new music that's coming out of the Caribbean, Calypso and Soca. And the flavor keeps going. In my head, I have the CD by KMC. It's entitled Mad Vibes, and it's distributed by JW. Yeah, JW Records. JW Records. You can go check it out. And you have like about six hits on it. I yeah. guarantee you're going to like it. So go out there and look for the CD. And for those of you who enjoyed my little short friend, and you know you can't get enough of it either, look out for him next year. You'll keep working with Bungie. And if you want to get more music from Bungie, you can go and check out the Soka Switch CD. The man is on it. He's in there with a lot of other artists, but you can continue to get more music.
from him on that CD. Remember, as I tell you, if you go to the distributor and they don't have the music, ask for it. Oh, wow. Keep the music out there. All right? I want to thank you, brothers. Yes, we are. Thank you for having us here. We done. I thank you guys for taking the time out for us to leave here to come to New York and spread your food. Yeah. It's good. It's very good. Yeah. And I'm looking forward for great and better things from you guys. Yeah. But I don't just know you get lad, grow up and get lad. But when you do that, don't forget to get it. Right. Anytime you come to me, come and check us. Yes, and let me keep the public informed now what's up. Alright? Yeah. So to you, my friends and critics out there, I'll see you again next time. Same place. What's that? Nice. Give me the brass, blow me the brass, just give me the brass, we not me cars. Give me the, hey yo, he yeah, he Give me the brass, give me the brass, so come on, people have to sing up, when the brass is out of blow, and we forget in the flow, people from out of Toronto, want to come back. Law! Law! Give me some more mic, please. Someone might not going to set my voice with ease. Huh. Listen!